to hit just our tires and see if that'll give us a little bit more of a. Oh! <laughs> yes! Oh, God! Oh, we are rolling. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam and G Drive. In today's episode, we are going to be checking out an awesome, awesome car mod. And I know, I know, I say that a lot, but today, I really, really mean it. Now, we've had some pretty awesome dodges in the past. We've had a couple 1970s Dodge Chargers, Dodge Challengers, but we've never seen a Dodge Coronet. Am I saying that right? Coronet? Coronet? Is it Coronet or Coronet? Let me know down below in the comments. I don't know. Anyway, look at this thing. It is completely awesome. And we get four variants to go along with it. We got the base model. We got the RT. We got the Super B. And we have the 500, which is the luxury trim package. So I guess it just makes sense to try out the base. Uh, what is that? Banana yellow <laughs> version first. Well, it's a little bit more pale banana. But it's still cool nonetheless, and just look at this beauty, B-E-A, beautiful. I love that front end. Anybody's dad have one of these? I feel like, I feel like somebody's dad has had one of these. Anyway, it's an absolutely gorgeous car, complete with interior, which is also equally as gorgeous. It just looks like, it just looks like you'd be riding a couch. It looks so comfortable. Oh man, I can't even deal with it. Anyway, let's drive it and see if we can crash it because that's usually the first thing I do with these things. Whoa! Okay, it's a little slidey. It's a little slidey. Like most Dodges from this era, it is very, very slidey. So let's just see. <laughs> let's see how fast we can get this thing going before we ultimately crash it! Oh, there goes the rims. Oh god. Oh! Oh, wow. This is a really, really well-made mod. Holy crap. Hold on. Let's get a uh, look at the engine. I mean, I know it's probably not in the best shape at the moment, but I just want to <clears throat> just want to take a peek under here. Do we have the Hemi? I think we do. I don't actually this this version might not have the Hemi, but that's still a pretty formidable engine, although it is kind of sideways and broken right now. But if we switch it out for the RT or the uh, the uh, Super B. No, no, not that. Come on, man. You'd think I'd be good at this by now. Anyway, let's uh, try out the Super B. Oh, man, look at that. Shouldn't the, su the Super B be yellow? It's orange. Was the Super B of this of this trim orange back in the day? I don't know. Anyway, let's rip off the front again and... <laughs> <laughs> and see what we got under the hood. Oh, baby. Look at that. It's gorgeous. You know that? Mopar. Is that what that says? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> That's a... Beautiful engine. It's huge. I love it. Anyway, let's see how fast this thing can go. So the other one got up to about 89 miles an hour or something like that. So let's see if this one can go a little bit faster. Very slow off the line. Uh, launching is not its strong suit. I will say that. There we go. Come on. Push it. Push it. 100 miles an hour. There we go. So let's just run ourselves right into the tree here. <laughs> or, well, it's going to be the curb and then the tree. Oh, God. Oh! Airborne. Oh, Jesus. Rip the front off the car, why don't we? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to show you guys my favorite spot to crash cars on this entire map. It's a little hidden deep in the heart of the city. Is this it? Yes. Yes, this is it. Okay, so we're going to spawn right here. Now, what we're going to do... Can I... There we go. What we're going to do is drive right down the street here, and at the bottom, you can basically ramp yourself stuntman style off the uh, center divider right under the bridge. So that's what we're going to try to do here. It's so fun because it sends your car into a flip almost every time. Oh, God. You guys see it down there? Here we go. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Boom. Oh, that slowed us down a lot. Holy crap. <laughs> This thing must be a little bit lower to the ground than I thought. That hood was just holding up the entire weight of our car. Did you guys see that? That is a formidable hood you have there, son. Oh, yeah, there's some stuff that is broken here. But, yeah, this is almost a dev quality car mod. You don't see those every day. So when you do see them, it is quite the treat. There was obviously a lot of love put into this mod, and it shows. Let's see if we can, like... 
just hit just our tires and see if that'll give us a little bit more of a Whoa! <laughs> yes oh god oh we are rolling we are rolling ladies and gentlemen there we go finally comes to rest wow okay i gotta i gotta do that once i start doing this it, it's hard to stop like i'll just sit there for an hour and a half doing this with certain cars when i'm not recording so we're gonna do it one more time see if we can get like a really big roll let's slow it down I think if I no, that's gonna stop me dead in my tracks. Oh! <laughs> the front of my car just basically exploded right there. Probably not good. Okay, I you know what? One more time, just for just for the heck of it. So here we go. See, I'm trying to hit it just so the the left tire, left side tires hit. No, I'm gonna miss. Crap. <sighs> okay, one more time. I'm gonna keep saying one more time until I nail this. Just so you know. So one more time could be. 10 to 20 to 30 more times. But that's not going to happen. We're going to nail this. I believe in us. Oh, come on. A little bit to the left. Right. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, God. I was doing this perfectly earlier. What is the deal? Ooh, that's looking good. That's looking good. Come on. Just wreck me, son. Here we go. Yeah. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted some flips. Okay, you know what? That's good enough. Does this thing still run? It does. Can we keep driving it, though? <laughs> Barely. <laughs> oh, man. We are significantly lower to the ground, but you know this thing still runs. It looks like a, a junkyard find now, but it still runs. It still sounds great. All right. So let's go and properly crash test this thing. So we're going to go over to the IIHS or the BIHS. Uh, where is it? Is that the top? Yeah, there it is. B-I-H-S crash test hall, and we're going to properly crash test this beast. All righty, so I guess we'll try out just the regular, ba the regular base version. <laughs> Sorry. This thing only costs 3000 in the day? You know, that sounds about right. For inflation and everything, I think that sounds about right. I wonder what you could get one for now. Probably, probably upwards of $50,000 if it's like in mint condition like this one. And we're going to be wrecking it. Yeah. So let's get this thing to 60 miles per hour and close enough. Here we go. Ooh. Yeah, this thing actually held up pretty well. Not going to lie. That's a 60 mile an hour to zero miles an hour crash right there. And we are not folded in on ourselves. So I would say that's probably a success. Although definitely no, uh, definitely no airbags in this car. Probably no seatbelts. Uh, it's the 1970s. There, there was probably seatbelts, but probably no, uh, probably no airbags. So you're probably going to have a bad time and probably going to hit your face on the windshield slash steering wheel, which is massive by the way. And look at the shifting gear. That's awesome, man. I would drive one, a car with a shifting gear like that any day of the week. Anyway, let's see if we can get this thing going a little bit faster here and see if we can, like, fold this car in half over itself because, I don't know, that's just what I want to see. So, here we go. And 85 miles an hour. Ooh. <laughs> Not bad, actually. It almost looks better than in the uh, first crash. So, what if we go faster? I need one. I need one that goes faster. So, I bet our fastest version is probably going to be the Super B. At least I would imagine it is. This one costs five thousand dollars. Wow, really high high rollers now, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, here we go. Come on. Oh, there's the, the burnouts, man, are insane in this car. That is for sure. All right, here we go. 80, 86. Actually, we're not going that much faster. Eighty-six miles an hour. Oh. But honestly, it didn't hold up that much better. Huh, what if we uh, what if we double up here? What if we where's the manage button? Uh, manage. What if we double up here and T-bone the heck out of one of these things right at the end of the track, smushing one of them. Then we should get a pretty significant result. I hope. I want I want to see one of these things like straight up explode. Anyway, let's just crash this. There we go. So we're here and let's just park this thing right about Come on. Right about Eh, come on. About there. Yes. Hold it. Hold it. All right. So switch. And let's see what happens. I mean, I have an idea of what's going to happen because I have a basic understanding of physics. But I still want to see if this thing will explode. So here we go. And boom. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. Wow. The uh, back end of these are surprisingly resilient. There's like not even, I mean, it, it's dented, but the side that hit the wall is more dented than the side that took the full on impact of the car at 85 miles an hour. So I would say these things are actually surprisingly strong. I mean, I guess I'm not surprised because it's like a big American muscle car from the 70s. I mean, but still, I kind of expected it to uh, to kind of crumble on itself. Oh, that's cool. Look at that Super B. It's beautiful. So, yeah, with that, I think we should do a couple police chases because I love me some police chases. So, we're going to go over to the SSRB, and we're going to do some an old school kind of drag race slash police chase. Sound good? Okay. Alrighty, so we're gonna spawn up the RT version. I feel like that's the one that would be running from the cops for sure. That just screams bad guy car. You know, like like an old matte black muscle car just screams it's the bad guy of the movie. Every time. So we're gonna spawn this one up. Oh, this thing is gorgeous, man. Look at this. Look at this. It even has like the red. Oh, man. I, 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 I want to drive this thing so bad. Anyway. We're going to go back here just a tad. And what car should we use? Should we use like an old time uh, old time police car? Do I even have any old time police cars? I'm actually not sure. I don't have one for the bar stove, but what about what about the uh, Moonhawk? Where is the Moonhawk? There it is. I thought I had a, a police car. Oh yeah, we have a detective special. That's about it, but I think this I think this should work good enough. So here we go. Let's turn on the lights. <coughs> There we go, and we're going to set the AI to flee. And we're off! Detective versus the Dodge, whatever it's called. Anyway, he's already going faster than me. Oh, I thought this thing had a little bit of speed in it. <sighs> Dang it! Okay, well, we're just going to keep chasing him. No, he's going to get away. He is definitely going to get away. Wow, I don't even know why I tried. Okay, I guess we're going to need something a little bit faster. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll pretend that we're a time traveler, okay? And we're going to use a Sunburst. This has my favorite police car ever in it. The Police RS can beat any, basically anybody. So, we're just going to spawn this up. There we go. And he's going to start running again. And we're going to chase him down. And we should be able to catch up to him fairly easily. This RS is actually pretty dang fast. I'm not even breaking 100 miles an hour. Are you even trying, man? Are you even trying? Oh, now he's kind of catching up. Uh oh. No, no, no. Oh, I thought he was breaking away for a second. Ugh! Perfect pit maneuver. Whoa, what is he doing? Oh! I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna recover from that. I was about to be like, wow, props, AI. But no, it's just regular beam and G. Crappy AI. Oh, what is he doing? You just screwed yourself, man, and you're done for. All right, let's try that again. And he's taking off on us. There we go. Pull over to the side of the road, scumbag. I mean, you have a nice car. I'm going to try not to damage it, but if it happens, it happens. Should I just, like, swipe him? Here we go. And boom! There it is again. Perfect. Perfect. Oh! Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Is he okay? No. Oh, What? You had the chance, man. It looked like you, uh, it looked like you were pretty much okay. There we go. Oh, yeah, we got him. So once you get him spun out, it's very, very hard for him to recover just because uh, his tires are so spinny. He's doing a burnout now. I think you're pretty much done for, man. We did minimal damage to your car. A pretty fat dent right there in there, and the front is completely missing. But besides that, I think the car is probably salvageable. So there's that. All right, so... Now, we, of course, have to throw this thing off the Mighty Car Jump Arena. It's tradition around here. If this is the first video you're seeing, any new car mod, I got to throw it off the Mighty Car Jump Arena just to see how far it can go. I don't really have a list or, like, a chart of where all the cars land, which I probably should. That's a good idea. But we do it for fun just to see how far they'll fly. All righty. So, first, we're going to try the base model just to uh, kind of have, like, a, a control group, I guess you could call it. So, here we go. Good. So spinny. Oh, this I, I would drive this one. I don't know about this color, though. What do you guys think about this color? I think it's a little strange, but I think it definitely fits the, uh, I, de I think it definitely fits the time period. Anyway, here we go. Land yacht. Ahoy. Ooh. 
What was that, about 240 or something like that? Uh-oh. Uh oh I can't control it. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not going to be good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh! And there went the front of our car, just basically exploding into dust. Beautiful. All right, so up next, I believe, is the RT. Is that? Yes, the RT. There we go. This one should go a little bit farther. It's a little bit faster, so hopefully we'll see it go maybe, I'm, I'm guessing maybe 300, 350. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Come on. 135 miles an hour. No! Just barely past 200. Oh, man, that is disappointing. You know what? I'm kind of, ooh, I'm kind of curious. What if I just let it kind of coast? down the hill here. Maybe that'll make us go a little bit faster because I did notice that the engine was over revving quite a bit. So let's just pop it into neutral here and see if that'll make us go a little bit farther. 80, 90, 100, 105, 110, 120. No, we're not going to go any farther. Hmm. Hmm. We might actually land this okay though. Oh. <laughs> Rough landing hood is up but besides that I think we're I think we're okay the shocks are destroyed oh no oh no now we're in the pool now we're taking a swim great all right so oh, hold on no 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 stop all right let's try what was the other one oh yeah yeah the super b let's try the super b this one should go far it's the super b i mean come on man this one's got to go farther push it push it come on 132 that's where these things are topping out i guess <laughs> That is super disappointing. Oh, well, it's okay. It's okay. I still love you. I, I still love this car. It's just so well put together and so well crafted. Oh! <laughs> we, like, skimmed the top of the water there. That was awesome. Anyway, we have ended up in the pool, so that's usually where I end these videos. So if you want to try out this mod, I will have the link in the description down below. And while you're down there, why don't you go ahead and hit that like button to show your support and tell me that you like what you see and make sure to comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys in the next one see ya